All right, so we are back with another Build Threads, where if you guys are wondering what we're doing together, the boys are back. Uh, and yeah. this time, it's Gels and I competing to figure out just what these cars are, because Dakota... I'm hosting because I keep winning every time, so they wouldn't let me play again. So they made me host because I'm literally that good at the game. Dude. And guess what? I'm back with a revenge. Yeah. I made these stupid hard. Yeah, just so you're you not guys gonna get any of them right. Just so you guys know, Dakota's gaslighting you because everything <laughs> he just said is not episode. true. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys want to be in the next episode, go add your vehicle to our build threads. It takes less than five minutes. You add some photos, tell us a story, and just give us all the information they have on the car and what made it awesome, what maybe sucks about it. We want to try and build a community so that people that want to build their cars can learn from people who already built their cars. So you can check that over out at Martini Works. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do. So Dakota, are you ready? Yeah, a little side note. It's 2023. Take a decent picture for fuck's sake. Here we go. <laughs> Vehicle number one. You guys ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Chris's car. Chris. So hopefully that didn't give it away. I know. Chris. Uh, bought the car about eight to nine years ago. So there's a good chance it's a new Z or GR Corolla. Had a few Mustangs in the past. So with a garage full of Mustang parts, SBF swap it is 347 efi with mega squirt 42 pound injectors b303 tfs heads what? express yeah, gt40 exactly. plate nitrous system lots of stuff going on here you got the details in front of you as you can see i mean there's a lot of mustang parts would it be that obvious i feel like it might be no or would it be no. something completely no. different <laughs> i feel no, like it might absolutely be absolutely not it's i do like games I don't, but do I like games like that? I like knowing what the car is. The um, knockoff Daytona wire wheels make me feel like somebody is, I thought that is was playing a game. Unique. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold yeah, on. I and thought then, that was unique. They're knockoff Daytona style wire wheels, so they're not actual Daytona wire wheels. BRE front spoiler sounds... It's Dayton, by the way. Uh, Alex. Dayton? Daytona's a city in Florida. Isn't it called a... Is it called a Dayton wire wheel? It is a Dayton wire yeah. wheel, isn't it? I'm an Careful. idiot. It's okay. Sorry. Words are hard. I, I'm still going to go with Fox Body. I don't know. I'm going with like an old Mazda FBR X7. Ooh, okay. Oh, Gels was calling my bluff. Something no, like that. but I it ain't a Mustang. I know what it no, is. No, too late. You already said. It's a Datsun 280Z. No, you're already yeah, late. it is, but it's too late because you already guessed <laughs> oh, Fox shit. Body Mustang. <laughs> You both get zero points. Joe's had some type of that's so Raven moment. <laughs> yeah. And <It's> like, he <laughs> realized <laughs> what it was. Gonna happen but yeah, check out the pictures of this car yeah, if you can load crazy. them. The thing is insane. See the huge nitrous purge coming out <laughs> yeah. of it. What an interesting car. A lot oh, of Mustang so parts good. in yeah, it. Yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of Mustang I like parts. How we... It's so weird because usually you expect like like LS, like yeah. Chevy. Yeah. Like, you know, that is crazy. You know, when we started the whole build threads thing, we were kind of expecting, I don't know, like most, like a lot of like the same type. Types of car, but yeah. this, these cars are wild. There's so many different types of cars. All right, let's keep her moving. Zero points to zero points. These oh, guys oh. suck. Next up, we have this is William's car. I don't who know why I, tra I transitioned so weird. <laughs> Willie, if he's chill like that. Uh, for those Bill? who don't know, <laughs> Bill. the car came with a 3.0 transverse i6 with a twin scroll Borg Warner turbo and all wheel drive. There was no <laughs> manual option for this car. Factory numbers are 325 horse and 354 foot pounds of torque. I'm making slightly more than factory, but without a dyno, I have no clue how much more. Oh God. Got Koenig wheels, BC racing coilovers, 8K in the front and rear. What does transverse mean again? Uh, it means that it's the engines like the other I feel like this one yeah. this one has some more things where you can kind of pick up on but some stuff. It's still if, hard, but, but it's if, yeah. you, if you've got a transaxle six transverse, Alex, it's transverse. It literally says uh, it might be funny. I'm having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I mean we're getting I when I look at inline six and twin scroll. For some reason, I, I just kind of automatically lean towards like a BMW. Like a BMW. I like the conversation. You guys are definitely thinking through it, not jumping to conclusions. Dude, I have no. No one ever Wait. suspects this brand. Wait. No one Wait. ever suspects this brand. I'm Is gonna sound it? like an idiot. I'm gonna go with a Volvo of some sort. I don't know. You just going into the make? Yeah. Yeah. It's some sort of Volvo. I almost want to say like a just to really throw it out there. Some sort of I don't know Alfa Romeo. Ooh. Okay. Of some. So you're going with <laughs> okay, Volvo. Volvo. And I'm going yeah. With, uh, an Alfa Romeo. I'm what giving Jowls the point because oh. it's a 2013 Volvo S60 oh, nice. R. Oh. Nice. Wait, or no, 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 this is just the new S60R. So, yeah. oh. it's, not, it's not the hatch. My bad. I got excited. Okay, I, why did I think these were five cylinders? The older ones were, and oh. that's what was throwing you off. I don't know what year they switched um, to a six-cylinder, well, really but like 
Um, yeah. yeah, the the typical generation that you see is a five cylinder. That's so cool. you were on the right line. You're doubting yourself too much. You should have leaned into it. Is that a yeah, five more. Bolt pattern too? Yes, probably. Yes, yeah. because like it's that one of the few it cars. Away. Oh, yeah, that would have done. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I took out certain information. If you, got, if you right. got a Ford, yeah. again. if you got a Ford, Volvo, or Ferrari, five by one hundred eight. Why? We don't really fucking know. All right. <laughs> Whatever. So, reason. one to zero, sort of, given Jell's a handicap on yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But I again, I made these hard. I want to make it hard. I wanted revenge because Jell's been sitting over there giggling the whole time, acting like I should know all these cars, <laughs> and now he doesn't know them. So. Vehicle number three is Austin's car. Austin. Maybe Post Malone. His name's oh. Austin. Could be. We don't know yet. My Blink is the first car that I've ever truly made my own. Okay. It will forever be a work in progress, and I will love it and curse it for a long, long time. Look at some of the mods. We got an STI intercooler, k and n intake, awful rotas. <laughs> I'm glad we recognize it. <laughs> Tomei turbo inlet pipe. Again, I think there's some things here where you got to read between the lines, but it'll spell it out if you're looking at stuff. Carbon fiber mid wing. It's a Subaru Forester. Think so? Huh? I think so. With a mid wing. The mid wing does an STI away. intercooler. Yeah, it's a it's a Forester, or uh, some yes. sort of hatchback, like Damn maybe it. like a WRX hatch. But I'm gonna go with Forester because that's you go like, you go. I remember with like there was like an era where the mid -wing everyone was, popular. was just getting foresters yeah sick and i miss that you could also take a forester stock suspension and put it on a stock wrx to lift it and then you could lower the actual forester with the wrx suspension mm -hmm. so people would swap them out all the time like buddies if they oh, wanted okay, to, to lift their right. wrx they could do that so since you went with that yeah. i can't go with the same thing right? no, that's against no. the rules yeah, that'd be so lame, i'll so. just go Plus into who think that might not even be right well yeah you're, you're not wrong um i will go with a WRX bug eye. Alrighty. Okay. So I think the line, I will love it and curse it for a long, long time. Nice did job. give it away because it is a Subaru. <laughs> it is a Forester. Oh, let's go. So Jell's nailed it. He nice got that job. one right. Um, yep. The mid wing. I, that, it was I, the mid wing. I, maybe I should have said that. I, that was the part that I was hoping would give it away because yeah. obviously you're not going to have a mid wing on your STI. I mean, it'd be kind of weird if you did. But. Yeah, exactly. So Austin, I don't know if that's Post Malone's Forester or what. I don't know if it is. <laughs> It might be. It might be. They're cool yeah. cars. I like them. I think there is a possibility. They can be neat. Yeah. Uh, but Subarus, they blow up. That's what they do. So I probably will never own one. Damn. Okay. Moving on to the next car. It's two to one. No, two to zero. Two to zero. Yeah, Alex, you better kick. pick it up here. I we know, got I'm two sorry. more cars. You can tie it. Then yep. we can do like a rock, paper, scissors or something. Um, no, he plays mind games with that. I hate it. All right. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Vehicle number four. It's competitive game. It's, it's Ben's car named SpongeBob. What the fuck? <laughs> If that doesn't give it away. I know what it is. All right. Uh, I always wanted this car and was dollars away from being able to afford one as a toy. Then COVID hit and I couldn't justify a toy coming out of COVID prices. It's a Chevy Corvette. We're still sky high for these Fuck. things. So I bought a Genesis Coupe. I, I loved learned. it, but it wasn't what I wanted. Yeah. It, I learned my mistake. Shit. It's a Chevy Corvette. So we got long tubes, catless pipe, Borla exhaust. You can't read ahead. And a supercharging... <laughs> tune we weren't listening to you it's a chevy corvette yeah. i only said it really why fast do you think it's a chevy because corvette? i learned my lesson from the last episode where i picked some <laughs> dumbass car and it said it had long tube headers and you're like you idiot it's either a mustang a camaro or a corvette and if it's the long tubes it's a corvette <laughs> so a you think corvette. spongebob look, is a corvette look me in the eyes and tell me that it's not a corvette I have to hear Jell's guess before so, I say anything about thing, any car. There's a 99% chance that it's a Corvette, but because <laughs> Alex read ahead and cheated. What? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I have a. I have to go with something else. So I'll go with like model. a. I'll go with like a New Edge Mustang. Okay. It is in fact a Ford Mustang. Oh! I'm just joking. It's a, <laughs> God, that was it's a Corvette. Up. It's a yellow Corvette uh, named SpongeBob. <laughs> so sorry, Jell's. He wants you to win. <laughs> I already read the next one. I just want so. to see Alex's yeah. face in me because he was so fucking sure of it. I try and make it hard. Jesus I did start feeling bad by the end of it, and I was like, Jesus, they're not going to get any of these. So, okay, all right, all right. So now it's officially two to one. Um, we got one car left. Here we go. It's vehicle number five, and it's Dylan's car. Ooh. Silly Dilly, as I like to call him. I bought this car 
in May 2020 with not many plans other than to be a good, reliable daily. So what kind of car do you buy to be a good, reliable daily? Oh, God. Then after catching low compression on a cylinder, well, that's not a good, reliable daily. I decided to try my hand at building a motor. I spent a year and a half tearing the car apart, restoring the entire car, building the motor, and putting it back together. This is where I'm at now. Since then, I changed the focus know, on my car to a street drivable track warrior. After realizing I built a monster of a car that I was not expecting, GT. I, I named it no, Leviathan. It's a 3000 GT. I said first No, it's a it's a 3000 GT. <laughs> I could probably say just for the sake of the the competition, a, a Dodge Stealth of some kind. <laughs> but the 3SX front and rear sway it's, bars give it away. The 3SX. Yeah, yep. That, 3SX was like the place you went to. That, you got your 16G twin turbos, you got yeah. your Tanabe exhaust. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. It's a, the moment it's you started reading it, it's a 3000 GT VR4 like, or it's a Dodge Stealth. What are they okay, called? Okay, but it's RT named the Leviathan, so are you sure? I'll tell you what, you go with 3000 GT. Okay. Twin turbo. I'll go with the Dodge Stealth twin turbo. It is that car. There is without a shadow of a doubt that that is the car in question. Okay, Silly Dilly Full does stop. have a Mitsubishi 3000 yeah. GT. Yeah, I gotta see this thing. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it's sick. The photos are phenomenal of it. He's got some really cool that's pictures. That's so cool. Oh, shit. And I know both you guys enjoy these cars, so that's hey, why yo. I wanted to end with it. Yeah, yeah, these are awesome cars. If you. This photo. People that Bucks. have these cars that yeah. can keep them running, that can keep them driving and performing like fully, it's a tough car to keep Dude, alive. So these good. are really tough cars to work on too, because anytime you're working on the VR4 engine, you pretty much have to take either, everything. Yeah, off. you have to take everything off. <laughs> everything. Greg, Look at that. Yeah, that That's thing is such Insane. a cool car. VR4 is for some reason, I don't understand it. Like. All the other cars skyrocketed mm -hmm. in price. I think the VR4 newer gens. I think did. people are just like intimidated. The VR4, they're intimidated. I would they say are. the VR4s they jumped before everything else, and they kind of just, they just stayed. Held. And then, like with the new jump, they kind of well, stayed a little bit. But good news is Jaws won, so he gets to pick Let's one go. of Alex's cars to keep. <laughs> You can probably take that suitcase, then you have a boosted car. I was gonna say, I, I don't know which one I can actually drive out of here, though. Um, well, the one we can't talk uh, about. Other one's not mine. That one needs a little bit of work. This one's good. Well, well, ish. Just put some wheels on it. You'd be good to go. Body Th panels Thank glued you on. guys so much for watching. If you want to be part of the next episode, just go add your car to the build threads over at martiniworks.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Dakota, for being such a fantastic host. Those were good. Jealous, fucking crazy it. on this nice episode. Job. Big nerd. All right. <laughs> nerd. We will talk to you guys later. Adios. Goodbye.